I just don't want to put any more stress on my family. This film in particular does lend itself to watching it in a theatrical space because there's a certain energy and maybe a safety in numbers kind of quality to it. I mean, I like to watch the films that I make because I like to see not only what I did, but what everybody's efforts has accumulated and become, what it's turned into. And I loved it. It is just as exciting as how it was to me when I initially read it. It, like, it has taken on this palpable energy and people, there's a real interest in it. And I, I really feel it comes from, it's Ari, it's Ari Aster. This is a name you should not forget. It's his first feature and he is the real deal. He is a true artist and an absolutely hugely talented auteur and he's made something highly original. And the, the very fact that it is a genre piece but it is so natural and emotional and honest and raw. Who's gonna take care of me? You don't think I'm gonna take care of you? But when you die. Nicolette is our scream queen for today. Ah, uh, hilarious. Is there something that draws you to the <laughs> genre? Or? No, I guess I like the contrary nature of some of the characters I've played within that context. I mean, in Hereditary, I'm playing a woman who, yes, is a mother, and she is so unlikable at times, and I think there are certain expectations and idealised notions about motherhood and this just like throws them out the window and I think that's important actually to know that it's not always this rosy time for women. And it's obviously a confronting time because the whole family is navigating this profound loss and I think people are really vulnerable and, and lost at that moment in their lives and their behaviour can be very, very questionable because they're so hurt. You okay, Mom? like there might be something you want to say. I never wanted to be your mother. And in general, when I'm asked that question about which kind of character would you like to play, it's really difficult to answer because people, the characters that I like to play are just as complex as we are as humans. And then so you can't really say that type of person, you know, because it's too complicated. So when it is complicated, that's what I'm excited about. Sometimes I swear I can feel them in the room. I saw it at South by Southwest with an audience, and, and then I last saw night, I went, sorry, go I saw it at Sundance. I had an interesting experience where last night I went to a screening, but I didn't see the movie, I just went at the end, and I just watched people's faces as the movie ended, and they got up and they just looked, you know, white. They just, their, the blood was gone from their face. Guys, you do this amazing little sound trick, the clock. It's really interesting because it's such a subtle way of getting a message across that you don't always see. Usually it's like writing on a wall, literally, that says, I am here, or something like that. And it's just like a really great way of getting it across and still making you uneasy, but not really knowing if it did happen. And you're just like, what is happening? Basically, I said to Ari, I knew how to do that scene, and I said to Ari, I was like, hey man, I'll do it on a real desk. Like, you can give me a real desk, I'll do it. And he was like, I appreciate it, and I love you, but I'm pretty sure that's illegal, and I don't want you to break your nose, actually. I was like, okay, man, yeah, that's understandable. Like, and he was like, so he's like, we'll get you a soft one. I'm like, okay, so I prepared that. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna really hit it on the soft one. And then the day, they brought something that it was not a soft one by any means. It had like a foam cover, but then it was really hard underneath. It was like, so I just really slammed my face, and they only had two of them. So I just sort of like went for it and sort of blacked out. Blood is gushing down, fake blood, and then down my knee is real blood because I hit my knee so hard and I can't move my elbow and my foot is swollen and I'm like limping and I'm like, and Ari's like, dude, we got it. I'm like, great, I'm gonna go to my trailer and <laughs> I'm never doing it again. What's your favorite horror film? Picking a favorite's hard. I really like The Shining because I was very confused at the end and like for like a week afterwards I was like what is happening, what am I doing? I still don't have it completely figured out and that's something that I love because I keep thinking about it. Um, Rosemary's Baby, for sure. And I think that's what this is most uh, similar to and I think that's my favorite.